Welcome back to Power Sap Entertainment, where we put the date in expiration date. Not this me. is going to be the story about the first time I asked someone out and how hilariously bad it ended up going. I think that out of all the possible timelines, this is <laughs> this is the worst. This is the only one that's slightly above finding out that your crush is actually a deliciously tangy orange beverage. Not sponsored. Like all great tales of asking people out for the first time, this started sophomore year of college. Call me a late bloomer all you want. You won't be laughing when I'm asking out. The mayor. Alright, all jokes aside, I had noticed people all around me were beginning to couple up and I figured that as cool as I think I am, nobody is ever going to approach me and say, yeah, I like this. So I figured that I'd take destiny into my own hands and I started approaching people. Well, not before watching a few social experiment videos to see what not to do. Good evening, I'm Ken Bastida. Dana is off tonight. He was murdered. I really wouldn't consider myself an introvert. In fact, I could probably get up on stage and sell people auto insurance. But once it comes to face-to-face -to -face communication, I'm a little bleh. So I needed some help. So I started wearing a rubber band over my hand. And whenever I felt apprehensive about talking to somebody, anybody, a girl, a crush, uh, a mailman, I would wind it back and I would smack myself with it. While I was doing this, I ended up making a bunch of new friends and even ended up joining an extreme sports club for some reason. But I never quite managed to gather up the courage to ask somebody out whenever the opportunity came up. Wow, your eyes are so beautiful. Something is really, something's not right. Really wrong. And we gotta get things back where they belong. We can do it. Gotta Thanks, I, uh, I work out. Giggle. Huh, this girl might actually like me. Time to work my magic. Okay, bye. There was about a semester of this stuff until I finally decided to bite the bullet and decide to ask out the next girl that I was even remotely interested in. The way we met is that we were both sitting in what we thought was Spanish class. When about 15 minutes in, I realized that my teacher, A, wasn't speaking Spanish, and 2, was teaching political science. Since I didn't want to be rude, I quietly snuck out of the classroom, and a girl followed me. That wasn't Spanish class, was it? We got to talking, and I found out that she played soccer. Is that a... Is that a helicopter? We got to talking, and I found out that she played soccer. And as an alumnus of the AYSO, I was interested. But before I got the chance to continue the conversation, we made it to Spanish. When we got there, we were assigned seats on the opposite sides of the classroom. Normally, I just move on with my life, but since I didn't want to get smacked by the rubber band, I had to find a way to sneak my way into this person's life. The solution I came up with was that after class, I'd approach her and ask her for a dollar, and then we'd start talking and eventually I'd ask her if she wanted to see a movie or something. However, what I failed to take into account is how this would make me look. So when I approached her and said, hey, can I borrow a dollar? I was shocked when she looked at me and said, why? Um, I really want to buy some Skittles, but I forgot my dollar at home. Huh. Okay, not only did I not ask her out, she probably thought that I was some homeless guy. So while I'm crying at my pillow at night, I come up with another strategy. This time I'll use returning the dollar as an excuse to talk to her. So the very next day as we're both leaving Spanish, I approach her and say, Hey, here's your dollar from the other day. Huh? Oh, I forgot about that. You can keep it. Anyways, what's your next class? I was in. We started walking together and I was making her laugh with my gangbang style references and my doje memes or whatever people in the past like to do. As I was talking with her, I noticed an old man sitting in a wheelchair holding a styrofoam cup and a sign. Since I still had the dollar from earlier, I figured that I'd give it to this homeless man. But as I was about to place the dollar in his cup, I noticed that this guy was seething with rage. What do you think you're doing, kid? That's when it hit me. This wasn't a homeless man. This was a proud father and I was being a jerk. Before I had the chance to apologize, his wife came out and started yelling at me about how rude I was. The whole time I'm wondering what soccer girl thinks of me, but when I turn around, she's gone. She dipped. <laughs> I had already come this far though, so I think I apologized to the couple, and I booked it towards her. Man, that was pretty crazy, huh? Who are you? Anyways, uh... I was feeling a little defensive and not quite confident that she would want to go see a movie with me, so what ended up coming out of my mouth at the critical moment was... How would you like to go on the best date ever? In retrospect, that sounds like something a serial killer would say. So I can't really blame her when her response to that was, I have a boyfriend. At the time, I didn't know how to react to that. So I just ended up saying, yeah, me too. 
and running as fast as I can in the opposite direction. After that, I never really spoke to her again because I didn't want to bother her. Even worse was that I had to sit in Spanish looking directly at her due to the nature of our seating chart. However, I didn't regret asking her out because I kept the promise to myself. And that's all that really matters. Because you have to suck at something before you're a buck at something. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. So, what can you take away from this? Never ask people out. Never get out of your comfort zone. And never, ever give money to homeless people. I'm kidding. I just thought this experience was funny. And after that, I did end up going on a few dates. So, I guess I did learn from that. Feel free to share the first time that you asked somebody out on a date. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video, share it with your grandma, do the Macarena three times, spin around, slide to the left, slide to the right, crisscross, everybody clap your hands.